Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode today. Well, we got Johnny. What are you doing, bud? I'm back. You're back. I had to come check out the new animals. Oh, Mil, Mil, oh. hey, 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 Mil, quit harassing the ducks. Listen, they don't want to be your friend. Not yet. Just need to, you just need to calm down. Just, just calm down. Millie doesn't hurt the animals. She just wants to be their friend, and they think she's a threat. Anyways, Johnny's back. He had to come see the new farm animals. We've got a lot of additions. Uh, since he's been here, we've gotten ducks, turkeys, alpaca, cow, and you guys are going to see a little bit later, there's a new baby that was born. I saw him this morning. I haven't gotten a good look at it, so it, it's kind of like, it's not like a super big secret. It's not like a big surprise when we go down there, but basically I was down there this morning driving around running errands, and I saw what to be, I think, a baby goat, and I I think it's Karen. So we, as you guys saw in one of the previous episodes, it was actually the, the video, I think it was when Hook and I were, were making the uh, the divider in the big pen. They were like, like, dude, Karen's udders, man. They're just, they're looking plump right now. Uh, she might be, she might be popping out a baby here soon. I had no idea she was like that far along and pregnant. Like I said, I haven't seen what it looks like. If you guys are new to the channel, we've got a goat named Karen. We had a buck named Felipe. We got rid of Felipe, but it seems to me that Felipe did the deed. So uh, like I said, I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to give away too much now. I didn't, I was like, I as soon as I saw it, I was like, all right, I don't want to go talk to it. I don't want to go talk to it. I don't want to go look at it. I don't want to do anything because I want it all to be on camera for you guys, my first impressions with the baby. But it does look like we had a baby goat on the farm. So we're going to run down there. I literally just ran up here to go grab the camera. But before we do that, these guys, they're starting to outgrow their pen. I came out here early this morning right when I woke up, and one of those little brown guys was standing right over there. I was like, what are you doing, Rick? What are you doing right there? So we need to move these guys. Um, we built Well, we built this thing for the turkeys. You guys saw that video. Turkeys are in here if you're new to the channel. These guys are just, they're not growing. I mean, they're growing, but they're, they're still big. Babies. They're little guys. They started to fly though, so we put this little guy on top. But this is for the turkeys for when they're bigger. We don't really have an enclosure for the ducks for when they're bigger. They're not ready to be out of the little enclosure because they don't have their feathers yet. But one thing that we built last summer was I, they call them chicken tractors. They're like basically this, no door and shrunk down short, but perfect for ducks. They, they'd be fine. So we actually have it. It's here. It's outside. So what we're thinking about doing is taking this enclosure, taking it outside, taking all this junk, shoving it to the side, bringing in the new enclosure here. Here, and then putting a tarp down and bedding and get these guys out of here We'll still have a heat lamp in there and stuff But like I want them to be able to run around more like they're, they're getting pretty big and this thing has a lid on it with chicken wire, So they can't get out of it essentially So we're gonna try to move those guys make sure everything's got food and water and then we're gonna head down to the animal pen and Show you guys the new baby and I'm thinking we might even try to milk Karen. If she had a baby That means she's got milk. So I want to taste Karen's milk. Well, that sounded weird, but you guys stay tuned Look at it, folks. If you guys missed this, like I said, we built this last summer. But basically, look at this. Boom! This is it's for chickens. We made it to where you can put the feed right there, water there, and it's to raise meat chickens, like the little white ones. We made it super light, and I mean, I think this was like what 20 bucks or 30 bucks worth of materials, like just wood and screws. This is like old, it's like for like fencing and stuff. It's super lightweight. So the idea is you like hook ropes up to like the bottom of it and you can drag it around. So each day you give the chickens new fresh grass every day. But being that we got these guys and not chickens, and I feel bad because they're all crammed up, I said we take them put them in here. We're going to put some fluffage down now. And that'll be important to get some fluff, fluff down there. But I mean, look, look how much room they're going to have. I mean, you can put like a kiddie pool in here. This thing is, I mean, I would say it's at least six by six or five by seven or something. Like, I mean, it's, it's a good size deal. And like I said, it's easy because you can just go in here. You can access, you can put their food right there, water right there. They have all the space in the world to run around down there. So I think first things first is we're going to put some fluffage in here and then we're going to move these guys. This is going to be their new home until they get feathers. Once they get feathers, we might keep them in this thing, but we're going to put them outside. But it's pretty cold out there today so we're not gonna do that so let's go ahead and add some fluff now we don't it's not like fully covered in fluff but like i said this is plenty of space for them um it's not like they're they're gonna need anything more than this plus if we need any more uh i have like those bigger pine shavings that we could put down as like a base layer but i think this will work i just realized my feet are gonna be covered in these guys now but like i said you don't have to get the whole thing covered in fluff as long as they've got enough space let's see what the new guys think come here little guys <laughs> all right oh hey it's okay listen 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 you're okay look at your wings Starting to develop some wings, buddy. Are you gonna be Quacky Jr.? All right, we're gonna put you down, but we're gonna give the rest of your friends in there too. You, you won't be alone. There you go. Look at your new home, bud. Don't jump out, all right? All right, all right, we'll get your friends. Calm down, calm, calm down. Hey, look, 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 your friends, he's down here. There you go, buddy. Look how much 
much room they have to run. They've never been able to run this much yet. All right, we'll get you, little guy. One, one left. Millie, help me crown. There we go. All right. You're the little guy. You're so cute. All right, there you go. Boom. Go join your friends, bud. I'm gonna have to go to the store and get some more shavings for them eventually because they're gonna start pooping on that side and that will be good. Cleaning this is gonna suck. I can tell you that much right now because it's so much larger of an area, but it's gonna be worth it for these little guys. They're gonna live their best life in there. Millie, she can't harass them as much, which is, I know you just wanna be their friends, but they don't like you. And we don't have to worry about them jumping out because you just close this thing off. They get plenty of light. It's not like it's a dog kennel enclosure. And we'll just take that uh, heat lamp, stick it in one of the corners, chance for their food and water. And we're gonna have some happy camping ducks. Also, there is a heater in this garage for those guys that are new. This is climate control. We keep it at like 60 degrees in here. So like these dudes are always plenty warm. They don't need like a little enclosure. I know you guys might be thinking, well, that thing retains heat better than this. They're they're fine. Trust me, they're, they're totally fine. So let's get everything moved over and I'll show you guys the finished product. Sheehy, look at the new palace. We've got the little heat lamp right there. Kind of can figure it up. We're not, I think that's, you can still feel quite a bit of heat down here. If, if I see them all bundled here, then I'll move it a little bit lower. But it's, I said it's warm. We keep it like 60 degrees now already. And these dudes are like, what, four or five weeks old? Like they're, they're getting up there. And then we got their water station, fresh, new, clean water right in the middle. Right here is their feed station, which is nice because we made these little blocks. So it sits up so they can come up, they can eat it, and it doesn't mix. Like the problem is this, when it's ground level, they get all the fluff in there. Right now, with it being up so dang high, well, right now they're hiding from Millie, but they're, they're okay. Like, tr trust me, there's plenty of fluff in here. So I'd like to get a little bit more, um, but they've got so much space. We're even thinking maybe not today, maybe on a little bit warmer day when they can, when they can dry off and stuff is bring one of those little bit, like they're like the big dog dishes we have down there and let these dudes go swimming around on this backside. Cause we could always put like a couple of those there so they could kind of swim and then they could like, you know, it's like a sandy beach and then the ocean type situation. Anyways, we've got these guys situationed up. They're looking good. These guys, you guys are low maintenance, except you try to fly. So don't, don't fly, please. You, you guys, are, you guys need a little bit of more food. Your water situation is looking all right. You guys are good to go. Shoo! Well, folks, we're down by the animals. Look at you guys. What are you guys doing? Oh, pack We haven't named you yet, bud. You're hanging out. Karen, see, I don't see now. I don't see it. I swear I'm not tripping because we look we have Oreo we have Snickers and then there's Karen but I don't see and then the cows over there but I don't see I don't see the baby anymore yeah I hear you bud Wait, where's the baby I swear look Karen's running Karen where's I swear to God you oh he's right there oh it's behind it you see I gotta go in and see it now it's, it's laying down I didn't even see it you guys you guys calm down all right Dale, don't be, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Hey, Karen, you had a baby. Look at this thing. Hey, how's it going, alpaca? Oh, yeah, I know you don't really like us. Yeah, look. Oh my God, look at this thing. What a little squirt. Come here, look at, look at it compared to Karen. Karen, look at that thing. I told you guys, I was driving down here and I'm like, I swear I counted a second baby, John. Like, had, look, oh yeah, you can see there's still blood on Karen. Not to curse you guys out, but there's, there's blood on like right below Karen. It hit her. Look how big her udders are, bro. Oh my god, look at those nipples. Can we get milk out of this thing? Uh, oh, look at the baby. Oh, the baby's getting milk. Oh, chill. <laughs> chill. That's crazy. What a, oh, oh, he's not just letting me pet it. Oh, is that a umbilical or is it a boy or a girl? That might be the umbilical. Here, hang on. I gotta see. If, hey, Dale. Is it a boy or a girl, Dale? This is crazy. I've never seen. I mean, we didn't really see it get born, but I've never like seen a, a baby this young. This is crazy. After it gets its milk, I'm gonna see if it's uh, if it's. It, I think that's its umbilical cord dangling. It's not. It's it's not a wiener or anything like that. Dale, we gotta see. We gotta check the gender. What do you think it is? Is it like a gender? I feel like we need to throw a party right now. We we need to like check it and then go get like balloons to pop for you guys or something. Don't mind the background noise. We're getting some construction done up there, but you done? All right, come here. You gonna let me hold you? Oh my god! Oh my god! It's letting me hold him. What up? Okay, let's check. It's a girl. <gasps> look at that. Yeah, it's an umbilical cord still hanging. I'm guessing I don't need to. I don't need to clip that or nothing. Karen, I can't look at it. It's, not, it's let me hold it. Yeah, it's a girl. You can see some. See, oh, oh, chill, chill. You're right. You're right. I can see some nipples. That's good. That's good. We can keep it. If it's a boy, we could also keep it. But you're gonna have to keep it separate so it doesn't impregnate any of the other goats. But the fact that it's a girl. Look, it's Felipe. We gotta name this guy. I was gonna name it Felipe Jr., but it's a girl, so we probably shouldn't call her Felipe Jr. So if you guys remember what Felipe, I kind of, I mean, I remember what Felipe looks like. Felipe did not have these black, the black feet. Oh, you're okay. And Felipe didn't have this, look at this black stripe. Karen, oh, you're right, hey, chill. Karen has the same black stripe. Oh my gosh. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. What's crazy is those two baby goats, Oreo and Sigurds, never would let you hold it. Look, it's just chilling. Karen, I'm taking care of your baby. What do you think about it? Did you have a baby? I can't believe how like fluffy it is. Like I just expected to see a newborn like, you know, all soggy and stuff. All right, I'll let you go. Look, it's just running around. 
You would think this thing's been here for three weeks. I swear it was not here yesterday. I was here yesterday, releasing, like talking with all the animals, filming. Look at it, it's getting, it's getting titty milk. Karen, good job, Karen, you're a good mom. So for some of you guys that don't know, sometimes when a goat or any animal for that matter has a child, it can like, I wouldn't call it like disown it. I'm sure there's a proper word for that, but like basically they don't nurse it and then you ha it turns into a bottle baby. You have to like, basically I don't have to come down here like three times a day and hand feed it, which as fun as that sounds, it's only cool if I'm not busy. But if I'm busy, I'm out of town, then that's gonna be really hard. So I'm really really happy to see this baby getting some milk from Karen. Karen, you're so calm. I had no idea. It's so crazy. Like the video that you guys saw where we bought the alpaca, Hooken and I built this fence. We kept talking about how big Karen's udders were and we're thinking, oh, she's definitely pregnant. So I went and looked. Goats are pregnant for five months, around five months, give or take. We got Karen five and a half months ago, meaning Felipe and Karen got pregnant. Karen got pregnant by Felipe within 10 days of us getting Karen. Can you believe that? Like that is, it's just absolutely mind blowing. Like the whole time Karen got really big and then she got real skinny for a while and then real big, real skinny, like went back and forth, back and forth. And the whole time she was pregnant. Can you, sheep, can you believe that? Larry, what do you think, bud? What's even, what's even crazier is that like all the other animals are chill. I, I've always heard like when an animal's, hey, hey, Larry, <laughs> leave John alone. I've always heard when an animal's pregnant, you're supposed to like kind of quarantine them, put them in their own pen. You don't want other big animals, you know, hurting this little guy. Look at him wagging his tail. Hi, buddy. Look at this. Oh, he's so happy. This is so cool. This is the first birth we've ever had at the flare farm, ever. I'm so glad it's a girl because we can keep her and I don't have to wear it. I would, I'd probably still keep it if it was a boy, but it just makes it so much harder because then we'd have to put it with Rick and Rick would just be be mean and it just wouldn't be good. But being that it's a little sweet little girl, see, what's crazy is next fall, not this fall, next fall, we can start breeding with her. Like she can be the mom then once they're about a year old because Karen's like a year and a half old. Karen, you're such a good mom. Look at you. I feel so bad I wasn't here for the birth. Like I wasn't here to like hold your hoof or something you know like comfort you i wasn't here you just you handled it like a man like a woman anyways karen is chilling she's such a good mom see john's getting attacked right now dale's mauling he's man. just he just wants loving look at his little guy she's so cute oh yeah you guys got a name her. i'm in love with this little thing it's literally half felipe half karen which i know that's how babies work this black stripe this black here like felipe didn't have that but then felipe had this like light mocha coffee cream hey can you relax? He had that color and she got, the baby got Felipe's ear. So Karen is a part La Mancha, I think it's La Mancha, doesn't have ears. Like they don't have a ear flaps type thing, but Felipe did. I forgot what kind, I'll put it here, like right here. I'll put what kind Felipe was and Karen. Karen was 50-50 or Felipe was 50-50 and Karen was like 75-25 something. It was La Mancha and something else. I don't really remember, but dude. Baby's so cute. This thing's running. I saw it laying down. I, I couldn't even see it. it was laying like right here and Karen was over there So like they weren't even oh, hey, how's it going cow? So you can see the cow is still trying to get used to everything but the alpaca look the alpaca is just hanging out The alpaca is not like super friendly with us. It doesn't let us pick us up or anything, but oh my god Look at it. It's so cute. Come here little guy. You're so cute. Oh my gosh. And Felipe's not even here to see his own daughter get born. Rip. Well, now we have like a part of Felipe with us. It's like Felipe's, now half of Felipe is at the farm. And it's a girl which is freaking even better than Felipe. So you guys need to aim this guy. She is so cute. Come here little guy. I know, come here. You don't have Felipe's crazy eyes? Well, you don't have Karen's eyes, so maybe you will have Felipe's eyes. Felipe had some crazy looking eyes. She, Larry, what do you think? You want to get pregnant and you want some little lambs? We should definitely get you pregnant. Watching this baby suck on Karen's nipples makes me want to milk Karen. That, as weird as that sounds, it really does. So I think we're gonna try to milk Karen here, but we're gonna let the, we're gonna let the baby get what it needs. That's obviously priority number one. I just realized one nipple is really big. I didn't see that. It looks is, like swollen. That might not be good. Look at this. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but this is one nipple right there, and then that's the other. Uh oh, it might it might be clogged. I hope she don't like that. Karen, come here. Look at that, what's wrong with it? Karen might have a bad, bad udder. I feel like it's gotta be like tender. I might need to make some phone calls to my fellow YouTubers that have goats. Hello? Hey, what's up? How you doing? Got a goat question for you. One of, like, one of the nipples is really swollen on Karen and one of them's like not big at all. And I can get milk out of the non-swollen one, but I can't get anything out of the other. And it's like, I mean, it's like a real big difference. I would say blocked, you gotta get it unblocked. I gotta get it oh, unblocked. Yes. I would almost say she either has mastitis or she'll get mastitis if you don't get it unplugged on that side. Okay, so try to get it unplugged then. All right. Cool, thank you again.
All right, so I just called Lumna, Lumna Acres. He's a fellow YouTuber. He's got a homestead. He's actually like the huge inspiration behind all this. Um, he was like one of the first farming YouTubers I watched. He said that it's definitely blocked and that there's a chance you can get unblocked. Plus, then it could have something like malstitis, malnitis, malstitis, something like that. I just wanted to make sure it was something serious before I called a vet. There are vets around here, so I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the vets a call, see what they think, and do some research on how to unblock it and try to get that going because that does not look good at all. Oh, what's in there? Oh, I got, there's a little bit of milk. Oh yeah, it's going. There we go, good Karen. We're good now. I made one more phone call, called Arms Family Homestead, another YouTuber. He said, put her on the stand, she'll relax, give her some grain. What it is, is it, since, since she only has one baby, the one baby's favoring a nipple more than the other, and the other one is basically under too much pressure. So, you have to milk it by hand, to relieve that pressure. So if I do this enough, this one will go down and they'll both bounce out. But it's one of those things I gotta manage. Every day you gotta come out here and milk it, but I'm gonna go grab a cup and try to fill one up. And don't be worrying about milking her dry and not leaving enough for the baby. Moms always know they have a reserve for their baby so they never run out. I can't over milk Karen, but I just wanna make sure that I can get as much pressure out of it. She, she's calm. Millie, you don't need to quit drinking the goat milk, bud. Is that delicious? Look at her. Well, Millie likes the goat milk, so it can't be too bad. Woo! Wow, look at this. It's, it's even frothy. I feel like I need to add some uh, coffee to it. You think I should just go right in? A little goat milk mustache. I'm kind of nervous. Last time I drank goat milk, I had an allergic reaction. I'm not allergic to anything. Did you know that? Oh yeah, I remember, remember that. Remember that? Yeah, maybe you shouldn't then. I mean, I'm not gonna die, I don't think. My throat swelled up for like two days. I'm, I'm not allergic to anything. I've never felt that before. So, here we go. It's warm. Dude, it tastes like normal milk. You wanna, you wanna try it? I'll try it. It tastes like normal milk, yeah. yeah. It smells normal. If you gave that to me, I would say that's normal milk. <laughs> look, at that, look at that stash, bro. Does it taste funny to you or no? I got a little hint of farm in mind. Did you really? Yeah, I got a hint of farm. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to explain what that means, but like, yeah. you know, I got a hint of farm. It wasn't that bad. But it's not, it's just warm. So it's, it's warm. Like surprise, yeah. You know? I, can, like, I feel like I'm feeling my throat swell up, but it's not actually happening, but it could be actually happening. I think it tastes like normal milk. I don't think I would know. I don't think I'd know the difference. All right, you can, you want to let her out? She's good. Oh, yeah. She ate all that grain. That's tons of grain. All you right. probably don't need. You don't need any more, buddy. You go home. You go home to your baby. Shoo! Wow, well, we got the uh, we got the milk out of Karen. Karen, I tugged on your nipple a lot, but uh, hey, we got her flowing like Bill Owen out here, boys. Alpaca, what do you think about Millie? Look at her. She's looking at Millie. You don't like Millie, do you? I bet I bet you'd beat Millie up. I've got a feeling you would try to beat her up. Look at that little baby. It's so cute. If you guys, uh, if I didn't piece it all together correctly while we were filming and stuff, basically what happened was I called Lumna. Lumna said, hey, there's a chance it's plugged up. You can get like some, like a warm cloth of some kind and do it. Um, basically, you just got to get that titty flowing. Then I called Arms just to get his opinion. They're both goat farmers. I was like, ah, let me call, let me call, let's get a second opinion just to just make sure before I do anything crazy. And Arms said he's never had one actually get plugged. But what happened is since Karen only has one baby, that baby is favoring Karen's right nipple. And like, as in like, it will not put its mouth on Karen's left nipple. So when there's two nipples on one udder and one baby sucking on only one, the other one basically builds up pressure because they're, they're basically designed to be able to feed two babies at one time, assuming that they have two babies like the following year. Um, that's how they were designed. So one gets clogged up and it's under pressure. Like I said, I imagine like having to pee really bad and nothing be it and you not being able to get it out. So basically what they told me was you just got to get it out and you don't have to like milk or completely dry. You just got to get it flowing and relieve that pressure and you pretty much have to do it about every day. Um, so with with that being said, comment down below what you would like us to see make out of goat milk. So obviously if I'm, if I have to, if I do not have a choice to milk Karen every day, you saw she was great in the milking stand. I think we need to get like an automatic milking machine though. Like my hand really didn't get that tired, but I filled up like an eight ounce, 12 ounce cup. Um, but if you get a milking basically machine, it'll pump it out even faster, which will, will relieve Karen's pain faster, which is what I would want. The other thing is once the nipple goes down in size, I've heard that basically the goat will then maybe go back and forth. I hope so. So it's one of those things like it could basically mean for the next however many months that Karen 
someone's milking, I gotta grab them titties, which I, I don't mind. It's, it's not like it's the end of the world. It's just someone's gotta be here. If I'm out of town, Bonzo or somebody's been grabbing them titties. Someone's gotta be out here grabbing them. So, with that being said, comment down below. Do you wanna, I mean, I've heard of goat's milk, obviously. You can make like yogurt, you can make ice cream, you can make tons of other things. Comment down below, what do you wanna see us make? And maybe that's what we'll do. We'll just start making like, I don't know goat ice cream because we have nothing else to do with all this milk that we've got but anyways john has not seen the cow look at that cow it's looking kind of rough i need it friendly we need a you know, i mean define friendly like is it gonna hit me with its horns it will not do that okay. it's not not friendly but it doesn't feel super comfortable around humans yet it's just it's kind of one of those like it's what the alpaca does watch you want to see what happens come here bud see that's what happens he's not mean he ain't gonna hurt you but he ain't gonna come up and he, he's not dale let's put it that way so let's go see what she's thinking we still need to name her as well and we need to name the baby and we need to name the, okay, we gotta name everything out here you want some hay i don't i don't have any i apologize you look like you're kind of wet are you rolling you're taking a bath earlier it wasn't raining dale go tell this cow to be friends with us sheep larry see remember when we got larry he would not let you do this yeah, look larry's crazy. chill come here cow See, the cow doesn't know what grain is, though. That's it. That's the key to success. The reason why I give my animals grain, not only just to give them nutrition, is to get them, it's basically like giving your dog a treat. You can basically make your dog do anything when you got a treat. Same goes for this. So let's, put, example, that chungus gets out of its pen somehow, or even this alpaca, all right? You're not gonna go wrestle an alpaca or a mini cow. I can wrestle Dale. Dale gets out, I can, I can wrestle Dale. You ain't wrestling that thing. So if you get it trained on grain to where you can kind of shake a little thing, and then you can kind of lead it back into its pen and then fix the pen. That's what it's for. It's basically, I give them grain to obtain slight control over my animals. I don't want to like control their whole world, obviously. Like they, I want them to do what they want to do, do cow things. But if stuff hits the fan, I want to be able to, you know, get them back and get them back home, get them, get them safe. She's just chilling. I, she let me pet her when I, when she, when I gave her a fresh bale of hay, you could pet her. Yeah, I don't know. She's just kind of hanging out, I guess. Do you ever have to trim her ears or like her, the, her, the her, hair? The hair by her Yeah, because I don't even know how she sees TBH. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, because like at some point, yeah, you got you to gotta trim their hair. And... You give them a man bun. I, true. I feel like we should definitely do that. <laughs> Come here, bud. You all right? Come here. I need to teach you what grain is. This is what I got to do. You're okay. Hi, buddy. Hey, come here. Here, you want some? You want some hay? Why are you drooling, bro? Oh. You don't like that kind of hay? I'm not I'm not gonna hurt you, buddy. No, no, I was so close. <laughs> I was so close. It's alright, we're getting there, alright? We're working on it. Other than that, folks, that's a pretty simple vlog for you guys. I know sometimes it's like a 40 minute long banger where we're doing things for three days straight. Today was basically like, hey, I see a new baby goat. Let's go make a video about it. And you saw the new duck enclosure for now. And we're basically just waiting. What do you want, Larry? Hi, buddy. I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh yeah, we got the new duck enclosure. Waiting for them to get their feathers. Turkeys, we're waiting for them to get their feathers so we can put them in their enclosure. Now we've got a cow and we've got another baby, which is a female so we can keep her. We need a name for that one. So we need a name for a cow, alpaca, and the new baby, the new baby goes so cute. Like, I didn't know, I knew like baby goes were cute, but until you like have a baby goat, what well, sounded weird. Like I didn't personally have the baby, but like once you obtain a baby goat straight from the womb, it is so precious. It's just like a little child and just sits there and gets its milk and it lets you hold it. Like that's what's crazy is when we bought Oreo and Snickers from Buttercup with and, and with Buttercup, they didn't let us hold them. This guy, that's my, that's also my goal is every time I have to come and tug on Karen's nipples. Hold up. What's going on here? Oh, playing King, playing King of the Hill. Is that what's the deal? Anyways, every time I have to milk Karen, I want to try to hold the baby and get the baby used to me. Because I think the more human interaction that it has from a young age, the better of a goat it'll be um, and the nicer it'll be to people and stuff like that. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, name of the new goat down in the comment section down below. She's a girl and um, she's freaking absolutely adorable. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and peace. <laughs>